Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. Working on a Toshiba satellite computer today, and I'm gonna show you how to swap out your hard drive and your RAM. Usually you can access them the same way. This is a good video if uh, you found out one of them is bad. Uh, this is a good video for you to know how to, how to access them. Or if you wanna upgrade your hard drive or RAM, uh, again, this video will show you how to access those components. So first thing you wanna do is shut your computer off, Take the charger out, flip it over. Uh, if you're lucky, you have some access panels down here, some easy access doors that you can open and get right to your hard drive and your RAM. If you don't, and, and your computer's like mine, you have to take off this bottom case. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm gonna go around the computer, take off all the screws that I can see. If you have any questions in this process too, by the way, uh, check the frequently asked questions below in, in the description. Save yourself some time getting an answer. Um, if you don't see your question there, feel free to leave it as a comment. I do try to get back to you a couple times a day at least. Um, if I'm at my computer working, I, I try to get back to you more often than that even. Um, so go around, take out all the screws. Keep in mind sometimes they can hide screws under these rubber feet. Uh, so just gently pry those up with like a little flathead screwdriver. They're usually stuck down by just double-sided tape. So. Uh, they'll re-stick re in place when you're done with them. And then two, I just took out this screw here, which releases my DVD drive. Sometimes they'll hide screws under the DVD drive here as well. Uh, they haven't in this computer, so that's good. And then sometimes when you remove your battery, uh, they hide screws underneath where the battery is. But this computer's not that bad. They don't have any screws under there, so. After you've removed all your screws, take your little flat metal pry tool and go along the seam of your bottom case and your palm rest and pry it up. Oh, I missed a screw. If you feel any resistance like that, double check your screws because you're definitely strong enough to pull it off, but you'll break it. So only bad thing about laptop repair is you can break anything you touch. So so here's the inside of your Toshiba satellite. I'll zoom in real quick so we can see the components that we're focusing on. So here's your hard drive. This is the first component that we're focusing on. And as with most laptop hard drives, it's held in by a caddy. Uh, a caddy is what goes into the computer to keep it secure. In our case, it's plastic. So what I'm going to do, let me see how this is screwed in here. Oh. So there's nothing holding the caddy in, it's just plastic that wedged in. So you can pull this one out and then pull it off of this port right there. Just like that. Uh, most caddies are not going to be like this. They're going to be metal and they're going to screw down to stop it from shifting. So we got lucky here. And then for us, there's no screws holding this in. It just kind of pulls out like this. So you pull it out and then you can take this hard drive, you put it away. You take your new hard drive out and you, and you put it in same way. Make sure the orientation stays the same. Again, if you don't have a hard drive caddy like this, it'll be screwed in. It'll be screwed in. Two screws on that side, two screws on this side. It'll screw in your hard drive caddy. You don't see a lot of hard drive caddies like this anymore that just pop in there and pop in here. Um, they're getting to be less and less the way that it's done. But once you put your hard drive back in the caddy, slide it in to the port, and then get it secure where it should be. Again, you'll probably have to screw yours down. If you're looking to upgrade your hard drive, generally speaking, you have to look up your, your laptop just to be sure. But generally speaking, a lot of laptops are going for the 2.5 inch size hard drive and the SATA connection, S-A-T-A. -A. As long as you have those two things, you can get whatever size you want, um, and you can also upgrade your solid state drive if, if you prefer. Over here, you're looking at your RAM. This is a typical layout for RAM. We have two RAM sticks. You may have one. Uh, but RAM is held in by two spring-loaded arms on either side. When you pull those arms apart, the RAM stick pops up. Like that. Whoa, that one popped up and out. Usually it just pops up, and then you slide it out like that. So RAM, like hard drive, has a long port and a short port. So it's got to go in this way. You can't put it in this way. So the, then you would put the new one in like this, nice and flush. 
and then just press down and it snaps into place. If you're looking to upgrade your RAM, I'll have a video below in, in the description on how to buy the right RAM for your computer. It's a little more complicated than how to buy a hard drive. Uh, not all RAM fits all computers. So that's how you would access your hard drive. That's how you would access your RAM. Uh, keep in mind when installing a new hard drive, you will have to install an operating system onto this. Uh, I will have a link in the description below on how to install Windows 10 operating system onto your hard drive. So if this was helpful, please like and share. If you have any questions about your Toshiba satellite, if it didn't look exactly like this, if you're stumped at something and you can't figure out how to get into it, uh, leave me a message. I'll help, you go, uh, I'll help you out with whatever you're going through. And uh, please subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair. Thanks for watching, guys.